Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how I edit my YouTube videos on Flamora. Starting off, I use a selfie stick and the good thing about this is you can remove the top piece. So once I get a tripod, I can use it to hold my phone. I use a music stand to hold the selfie stick. And this is the position I use when I'm filming an art video. When I'm recording my videos on my phone, I set it to AEAF lock so the lighting won't change during my videos. And usually I have the flash on when I'm filming as well. So this is the battery charger I use to charge my other camera, which I'll show you in a minute. The camera I use is my dad's old video camera. It's so old that they don't even make batteries like these anymore. This is the camera I use. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but here it is. I'll probably use this camera to make vlogs in the future. I prop my camera on my selfie stick just like I do with my phone but sometimes it's a little wobbly and sometimes it tips over so that's why I mostly use my phone so first click on your video and click your mouse so you see the word edit for my intros usually I turn the contrast and the saturation all the way up for other videos, I turn the brightness up to my liking, and I always auto hint my videos. I get my music from bensound.com, but you can also find non-copyright music on YouTube. And you can also download music from SoundCloud. Flamora has music that you can choose from as well, like the one I'm using in this video. I split my videos a lot. You can use this to cut out information you don't need. When I'm filming and and I make a mistake, I just keep talking because I know I can fix it later. And all you have to do is click on your video clip, left click, and hit split. Here, I'm inserting my video and I'll show you how to rotate it. This arrow right here is how you rotate it. Simple. One of my favorite things about editing is adding transitions. They have so many that you can choose from. I like how Flamora lets you see what it looks like before you add it to your video. All you have to do is click and drag it to where you want it to go. You can do voiceovers on here, but I use the voice memo app on my phone. And now for the audio part. Go to the edit menu and hit the audio button. All I do here is change the volume of my video. Just like transitions, it shows you text options and it shows you what it looks like as well. I haven't used any filters yet, but they have some cool ones that I'll consider trying in the future. overlays a lot in my videos especially for my end card they have some fun and cool ones that you can choose or you can find a PNG image from Google and here is an example right here you can
can also drag a video on top of another video, like so. This is how you can do reaction videos. They also have some more overlays in the elements menu. Let's try this heart one for example. You can move it, make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want. Split screens are a really fun thing that you can do if you want to create skit. Here is an example from one of Liza Lakoshi's videos. change the appearance from light to dark. I personally like dark though. I forgot to mention that Flamora is free to download but you have to make sure that you register for it. I'll link a video down below how to do that. If you don't register there will be a huge watermark and you don't want that in your video. Now for the basic tool. This is the undo button. This is the forward button. This takes you to the edit menu. Split button. This is the delete button. And I used to edit on my phone using the app called iMovie. You can also get this on Apple computers, but unfortunately, I don't have one. I used to edit this way all the time, but I kept running out of space on my phone. The only time I use this is to shorten up a video so I can transfer it to OneDrive so it won't take so long. This is how to split and you can add a transition right here if you want to. You can add text and it can be centered or lowered. You can change the speed and you can freeze it if you want. For more information about this video, you can check the description box down below. I hope this helped and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!